Welcome to your market update and charts of the day. It's Mike Smith, senior analyst of Go Markets, to lead you around what's happening on this Friday, 21st of June, as we approach the midpoint of the Asian session. Just a quick look across what's come across the news wires. And of course, we saw a mixed session overnight in the US. The Dow outperformed in the only major index finishing in positive territory, up around about three quarters of a percent. The Nasdaq was to the downside, coming off those record highs by about the same margin. So potentially some evidence of sector rotation, though possibly still a little early to call that. US futures are trading flat in Asian trading. Asian equity markets are mixed. We've got the Nikkei slightly outperformed. The ASX is trying to hold on to positive territory. Just above neutral as we record this, European futures pointing to a cautious open this afternoon. We saw the US dollar index edge higher, but still within a range. It is towards the top of that range, however. Despite USD strength, we saw gold also looking strong, unusually, reached that 2330 resistance and moves up over uh, 2350 in this morning's trading. Copper was mildly positive yesterday, but softer in Asia so far, but it's still around the top of that recent range. And one of the outperformers of the week is oil. That pushed higher again last night to end of April levels. Looks fairly comfortable over $80 on the WTI contract. Bitcoin, however, hasn't moved all week. It's just sat around neutral for the last three days after it breached the support level. So certainly no significant selling pressure to take it lower at this stage. We've got global PMI numbers out today across the planet. We've had Australian Japanese numbers out already. Both of those are shy of expectations. And it's probably not good news, generally speaking, if that is something that continues throughout the day. So markets will be keeping an eye on that. There's also some U.S. housing data out later tonight. A couple of charts of core RI today. Some general strength in the euro today. Uh, we're seeing here the euro Swissy on the hourly chart. It was around this pivot level at 95.30 at the start of the session. But since then, it continued up. We've got a slight pause on this candle. We see this moving up, possibly this 17 pips up towards 95.70 should be around about 280 but we see the higher probability trade if it breaches this 95.79 we think that that could be a move up certainly to test 96 and possibly even 96.20 one worth keeping an eye on on the asx technology one obviously in the tech sector typical tne looks interesting new record highs hit today after pausing around this 1837 level we see this breach of that uh, by around 10 cents in today's trading trading towards the top of the range looks as though we have got some buying interest in this very well thought of stock fundamentally so one to keep an eye and make sure that it stays above that in the last hour of the trading day before considering any action but one for your radar even if it doesn't uh, for early next week trade safe and see you again soon bye bye for now